Hey there, let's have a look at different ways you can deploy topologies now with 0.48 version being published. So originally, when you wanted to clone a lab that is hosted on GitHub or GitLab, you needed to go here and copy the clone URL, right? You then go to your terminal and you do git clone and paste the URL that you copied. Then you go to the CLAB test repo directory that you just cloned and you do CLAB deploy uh, just like this. And the lab has been deployed. Now, there are a few clicks that are worth eliminating. So let's see how we can do that now with, uh, with a new workflow. So first I'm destroying the lab that we just deployed and I'm also removing the repository that we just cloned. Okay, so now let's see what you can do. Instead of copying the clone URL, what you can do now is that you can copy the URL that you see in your browser directly. So copy this guy, go back to your terminal and do CLAB deploy dash T and voila. It will start cloning the repository just by looking at the URL that you pasted. The same topology will be deployed and you will be able to work with the lab as quickly as possible. Now let's see what we can do else. So I'm again cleaning it all up and I'm removing the clone directory. Sometimes you have labs that are in nested sub directories. Like here in the directory dir, I have lab3 clab yaml file. So what if I want to deploy this guy instead of the uh, file lab1 clab yaml that's in the root of the, of the repository? What I can do is that I can click on this guy copy it up just like f just from the URL, not nothing else. Go back here, do CLAB deploy dash T and paste this guy here. So now you see I'm deploying CLAB lab three node one, and that is exactly what I have in my topology. So it's lab three, I have one node. Contain lab was able to derive the lab where, uh, where the, it, it was able to derive the file it needs to deploy from the same repository. So that's cool. Uh, let's destroy it all up again and remove the cloned repository. Okay, and now let's have a look at some other cool stuff. So we have been deploying labs from the main branch of the repository. That is mostly, that is probably the most common way to store your labs. But sometimes people tend to create branches where they have different labs for different reasons, or maybe it's like a working branch, which you are not really comfortable uh, merging into main just yet, but still it would be cool to be able to deploy from a branch. So what I have here is that I have a branch one branch in this repository, and it has lab two CLAB file. So how do I deploy this, this guy? Initially, you would have to clone the repository, check out to this branch and call container lab deploy from here, from there. But now what you can do is that you can copy the branch URL itself, go back here and do same thing, clab deploy dash T and point it to the branch. Container lab will be able to figure out which branch it needs to check out and execute container lab deploy uh, command from there. So now you see I'm deploying clab lab two. And again, that is exactly what I have here in my branch number one, name lab two and the same one node. Now, this, these are the cool ways that now you can use to deploy your topologies. So no need to clone stuff manually with container lab 0.48 version. You will be able to use everything that I just showed. And even more so, there are some smarts in the way we use uh, the Git repository there. If you already cloned a repository and you call it once again with a different branch, we will switch to that branch automatically for you so you don't have to remove this stuff. So that's the new ways to deploy topologies with Container Lab. We hope you will enjoy it.